SpaceX's Spectrum deal and satellite mobile integration, Starlink goes mobile. What if your phone could connect directly to space? No cell towers, no dead zones, no more no service moments. Imagine hiking in the middle of a rainforest, sailing in the middle of the Atlantic, or driving across the Sahara Desert, and still being able to make a call, send a text, or stream a video. Sounds futuristic, right? Well, that future is knocking on our doors today. And at the heart of it is SpaceX, Starlink, and one of the most important deals in telecom history, the $17 billion spectrum takeover that could redefine how the world connects. Welcome to the Christian Omini Tech Channel, your trusted hub for cutting-edge tech insights, smart solutions, and future-forward innovation. If you're passionate about technology and want to stay ahead of the curve, you're in the right place. Subscribe now and join a growing community of thinkers, builders, and tech enthusiasts. Fresh content drops regularly. Don't miss out. The big picture. Why this matters. Before we dive into satellites, spectrum, and integration, let's pause for a second. Ask yourself, what's the biggest frustration with mobile networks today? Drop calls in rural areas. No service when you travel outside major cities. Expensive roaming when you cross borders. Slow, patchy connections during disasters or emergencies. Now imagine a network that eliminates dead zones, covers the entire planet, and runs seamlessly on the device you already own, your smartphone. That's exactly what SpaceX's Starlink mobile integration is about. Satellite dish breaking down the concept. 1. What is Spectrum and why $17 billion? Think of Spectrum as invisible highways in the sky. These are the radio frequencies that carry our calls, texts, and internet data. Just like real highways, these lanes can get congested if too many users are on them at once. Governments auction off chunks of these frequencies, and telecom companies pay billions to own the rights. Without Spectrum, your phone can't connect. Now here's the twist. SpaceX, through Starlink, has entered this game. By securing Spectrum deals worth $17 billion, they re not just launching satellites, they reclaiming the invisible highways needed to directly connect those satellites to your phone. This move positions SpaceX as a direct competitor to giants like AT&T, Verizon, and Vodafone, but with one huge advantage, global coverage. 2. Starlink today versus Starlink tomorrow. Today, Starlink provides internet through user terminals, those pizza box-shaped satellite dishes you install at home or on vehicles. Tomorrow, with Spectrum integration, you won't need a dish. Your smartphone will become the dish. How? Satellites will act like giant cell towers floating in space. Spectrum rights allow them to broadcast directly to phone antennas. Special agreements with telecom carriers, like T-Mobile in the US, will enable seamless switching between terrestrial towers and Starlink satellites. This is a game-changer because it breaks the dependency on physical cell towers, especially in regions where building towers is impossible or too expensive. Three. Real demos. What's happening now? This isn't just theory. Real-world demos have already begun. T-Mobile and SpaceX partnership. In 2022, Elon Musk and T-Mobile CEO Mike Sievert announced that Starlink satellites would connect directly to T-Mobile phones using midband spectrum. Early tests have already shown SMS texts being sent from remote areas without cell coverage. Apple's emergency SOS via satellite. While not Starlink, Apple demonstrated the demand for satellite-to-phone connections by enabling emergency messages on the iPhone 14 and beyond. SpaceX aims to expand this from emergencies to everyday use. SoftBank in Japan. Partnering with Starlink, SoftBank is testing satellite-to-mobile integration to cover Japan's mountainous and island regions. The message is clear. This is already happening. Crystal Ball Future Predictions. Where is this headed? Let's gaze into the crystal ball. No more dead zones. Within the next 5 to 10 years, expect mobile phones to work everywhere – deserts, oceans, mountains, and even polar regions. Coverage maps will be obsolete. A global mobile network. SpaceX could become the first truly global mobile carrier. Whether you're in Nigeria, Alaska, or rural India, you'll be on the same network. Roaming costs will disappear. Say goodbye to $50 roaming charges. Satellite integration means your connection follows you across borders at no extra cost. Disaster-proof connectivity. Earthquake. Hurricane. Tornado. When ground towers fail, satellites keep working. This will save lives in disaster response. Boost for emerging markets. Billions of people in Africa, Asia, and South America currently lack reliable internet. 
Starlink Plus Spectrum means entire villages can leapfrog straight into the digital economy. The 6G Foundation. Experts predict that satellite mobile integration will form a key pillar of 6G networks, creating an internet of space and earth, making it relatable. Let's put this into human terms. White right pointing backhand index picture this. You're on a road trip across northern Nigeria. You leave Lagos with strong 5G, but as you drive into rural areas, bars start to drop. By the time you're deep into Kogi State, you're cut off. Now imagine your phone seamlessly connects to a Starlink satellite overhead. You don't notice a glitch. You're still on WhatsApp, still streaming Spotify, still navigating on Google Maps. Or picture a fisherman in the Philippines sending a video call to his family while at sea. Or a farmer in rural Kenya accessing online market prices to sell crops more profitably. Or a rescue team in Morocco coordinating after an earthquake with zero downtime. That's the human power of Starlink mobile integration. Gear hash the equipment involved. To keep things simple, let's walk the path of a single message. You send a WhatsApp text from your phone. Instead of bouncing to a cell tower, it goes directly up to a Starlink satellite. The satellite routes it through the Starlink constellation, thousands of satellites interconnected in space. It beams down to a ground station linked to the internet backbone. From there, it travels through fiber cables and servers until it reaches your friend's phone. If your friend is also in a no-service area, the process reverses, ending with another satellite-to-phone link. It's basically turning space into a cell tower grid. Electric light bulb the challenges ahead. Of course, it's not all smooth sailing. Regulatory battles. National governments tightly control spectrum. SpaceX must negotiate with dozens of countries. Interference issues. Satellites using the same spectrum as cell towers could cause interference if not carefully managed. Device compatibility. Most current smartphones can't connect directly, at least not yet. Specialized chips and software updates are required. Cost factor. Will it be affordable for low-income regions or remain a premium service? Despite these hurdles, the momentum is unstoppable. Bar chart industry reactions. Telecom operators are nervous. Will they become obsolete if satellites bypass towers? Many are choosing to partner with SpaceX instead of fighting it. Governments see opportunities for national coverage but are wary of giving too much power to one company. Consumers are excited but cautious. Will it drain battery? Will speeds match 5G? Early tests suggest yes, it will work, but adoption will be gradual. Bullseye why you should care. Here's the bottom line. If you're in a city, you'll enjoy seamless backup when towers are overloaded. If you re in rural areas, you LL finally get the internet UV you've been waiting for. If you travel a lot, you'll never worry about roaming again. If you care about the future, this is the foundation of the next internet revolution. If this excites you, here's what you can do. White right pointing backhand index subscribe to the Christian Omini Tech channel for more deep dives into telecom, AI, and the future of connectivity. White right pointing backhand index share this video with friends who complain about poor network coverage. White right pointing backhand index drop a comment. Would you pay extra for satellite mobile integration or should it be standard in every plan? I hope this video has been informative for you and I will like to thank you for viewing. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more content.